guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less. I am so excited about today's video because we are decorating my friend Keelan's studio um, for Christmas. So what we have done is created this gorgeous backdrop uh, for family photos, photos with Santa, you name it, Christmas cards, photos. And what we wanted to do was create like a home atmosphere and uh, just make it really cozy and traditional because a lot of his clients love traditional Christmas decor. So the color palette for this year were ivories and whites, blacks and reds. And um, I just really love the way that everything turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy this process. Uh, we did do a time lapse of the decorating process of this studio so i hope you guys enjoy this and if you love this video be sure to give me a huge thumbs up and i can't wait to bring more christmas content to you guys especially um, dealing with different ways to incorporate backdrops you can do backdrops in more than just like weddings or different baby showers or events you can actually create a backdrop in your home to take family photos. So I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we did. So um, without any further ado, we're going to hop right into the video. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright these holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you Ray Dunn pillows, we got these for a great deal And you can find them at Home Goods, at TJ Maxx, Marshalls Any of those stores you can find Ray Dunn I love this postcard pillow. Um, I think it would be great for like a mail with Santa or something like that. I think that would be awesome. One of the details, like everything is about detail. So this teddy bear initially had a brown. He initially had a brown bow tie, but we didn't want the bow tie brown. We wanted the bow tie to, to match um, the decor and the bows on the packages. So we turn the bow tie the plaid color. So we're gonna keep the brown one in here for next year. <laughs> Just in case we decide to go back to brown. And then on the trunk has this um, little letter for Santa, a Noel sign, kind of a rustic tree with berries, some empty wrapped gifts, and just some gifts down below. So that is that. In the back, we have some trees, and as you can see, I did the front two trees kind of a light, even though they were smaller, and in the back tree, I did kind of different. Love this Merry Christmas pillow, absolutely gorgeous. Yep, and um, Keelan's gonna add some lights to the back of the um, what do you call that thing? Mantle. mantle that's what it is a mantle so yeah everything turned out gorgeous love this throw just gorgeous gorgeousness so if he removes the sofa let me show you guys behind the sofa uh oh the bitch that's my husband look Sharonda who is it I don't want to talk to her. Okay. So behind the sofa presents and things like that. The little red truck is very popular this year. So if he removes the sofa and does like pictures with the kids um, on the floor, 
it's still gonna be equally gorgeous we did do two Christmas trees side by side if you're gonna do this of course one needs to be smaller than the other all right you guys this is a block that he normally uses for kids photos but I just turned it to the sea for Christmas Magical time full of kisses Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose Moving nimbly Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Um, please leave a comment down below. I'm going to probably flash a couple other um, photos in this video to kind of show you how things have progressed, how these sets and backdrops have progressed over the years, and comment your favorite backdrop down below. I would also love to know your favorite Christmas tradition. What is something that you enjoy doing with your family for the Christmas holidays? I'd love to hear that because I'm looking to incorporate some new traditions um, for our family this year. So be sure to leave that down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers! <laughs>